can go on with something funky, like a safe lane, not safe lane, but Five a core bristle back, and you put him in the mid lane. Oh. I right, ignore that thought. It's going to be the <laughs> morphling grab up here. I was thinking it had to be a ranged hero because it's really annoying to go against Tiny Scraggy as a melee hero. It just kept back at the TI4 qualifier run. He played a lot of morphling back then. Him and like Lakels used to run it a lot when it was in its heyday. And they've been doing a lot of work. So it's something he's very familiar with here. Already early aggression onto Puck. Look at this. No respect from Pile I Die. Just dishing out the early Maldic and right click here. Who is going to play chicken oh, first? Pile I Die dead. What? He goes down. What? Oh. Already waved uh, forward, but Black oh, still has his wave and he's going to get it. Oh, Black Knight. This time. They want to take that big stack away, but they're going to run it away too, too the way. Yeah, they'll get this instead. Big combo. It's very easy stuff to come and help them out. And they'll cut them off, but it's now going to be most of them here. It's Heather away. Still Johnny. Wow, he gets blown up instantly there with the Fissure and the Sonic Wave. Now Black looking to get involved here. They're making a move on the KY XY. What a coil, though, set up from Ohio. Connects on to four. They are able to bring down the puck, though, as the follow-up will not be there. KY XY gets a, sto uh, a toss back, rather. But Black's going to be fine, even the heal coming oh in. My. And that quickly turns into Bottom a Bottom lane, they're going to go on Boba drop. now, but he drops his hate. They have vision of him, but he did go for the Midas before this team fight. That could hurt him. Okay, Kentakimbo, is, is the mech going to be enough to save him? Doesn't look like it. Big Sonic Wave and that Death War doing serious work. Black moves in, but he's very low. Gets lifted up, he'll get popped. Toss comes out through, Pilot I should be next to go down. Mushi very low, but going to be kept alive. Nope, I say that. Maybe looking to go for your for Ohio, but it's not going to be easy to get your puck. As I say that, though, they get a nice jump in. Oh, he oh. lifts! He lives, he walks around, he uses the haste room to step away from trouble. Relocate comes in, but he has no tiny with him. Oh, Johnny, what have I done? He goes down. Maybe he was there to assist out Ohio. You know, I'm not too sure. I didn't see on the top part, but look at this turn back here. Jumps in, gets two-man coil, finishes off way two, and now he's using the rest of his haste room. Gets bumped back and away, hookshot follow-up. Gets a secured kill here. Bulba making it a It's damn hard and damn fast here. Just look at this tower begin to melt. Once, you know, Johnny gets here to help him with the overcharge, things get pretty out of control. And Team Tinker, what do they do to stop this? Here they go. Boom. Bang. Bong. Bong. See you later, Tier 3. And they're home. In jeopardy now. Look at the destructive damage. Unbelievable stuff here. There is no home to go home to. Oh, my God. It's like paper mache. They just pile through it. He now going to pop the BKB after the tether will be concluded. Black tries to go for the kill. Johnny is going to be cleaned up there as uh, Bulba jumps in with the hook shot. Now Boyka moves on through with his own BKB, trying to go on to catch Gimba, but that's not an easy target. Meanwhile, Bulba's going to be taken apart. Catching Gimba, happy to go toe to toe. Koikma barely alive, able to make it away. They do take down the Viper. Here comes the Coconut, only connects on to KYXY. He is going to get maledicted up. They're trying to run here. Only two of them left and alive here. Team Tinker would love to get this extra pickup. Making him pay for losing that mid set of racks here. And there's going to be the stun. There's another cask and even a death ward instantly silenced and debunked with the coil. They are going to get the kill, but that's just the Aegis here. Ohio locking him in place as KYXY looked. Oh, sidestep gets Yules up. There's a follow up here from Bulba, but he quickly blinks out from trouble. Jump in, Echo on the Mushi. Not big damage. It looks like, yeah, Waitsu's going to go down immediately. Bulba's going to be forced to retreat through the TP. On the back lines, you can see KYXY looking to address everyone else. Pilot I was taken down in the heat of the moment, and now even Bulba will go down. Johnny gets that one, and quickly three of Team Tinker are out of the picture. And with that, Team Malaysia just follow up with an invasion through the south side of the base. And they're going to go right for the Tier 3. No Glyph on hand. Look at that destructive power come out. Now with the Manta. Black's got to do something. He goes on forward. Going to get silenced. Mantas it off again and will replicate away. But that doesn't deter them one bit. Now they go for the racks. Boom. Bok. They get it down. That's two racks already. And it looks like game one. go for the throat. Yeah, it could be in the bag here for Team Malaysia. And that's it. They raise the white flag. Malaysia. Very good and dominant performance here for game number one. End things out 24 to 19 with KYXY at a 25k net worth lead. Very nice stuff from them. They'll take game one in this best of three. Yeah, I honestly think it came back to what I said they should have done. Team Tinker playing really too passive. And they had a co-op mid lane that did amazing against the Wiz Tiny combination. All they had to do was just get an aggressive tri lane with the Witch Doctor.